the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has said that the statement by the governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, that his fellow governors in the southeast region of Nigeria are fueling insecurity in the region, vindicated the group. IPOB revealed this in a statement released by its spokesperson, Ima Powerful, which was obtained by Sahara reporters. Obiano had revealed on Thursday why he shunned the meeting of governors held in Enugu. He said he deliberately decided to stay away from the meeting of the Southeast Governors Forum because some of his colleagues were allegedly sponsoring the current insecurity in the state. Anambra was the only state that was not represented at the meeting as the deputy governor, Dr. Nkem Okeke, did not also attend. Following the absence of Anambra state at the meeting, Obiano's political opponents have been blaming the governor for absenting himself from such an important meeting where issues of insecurity in the southeast were deliberated upon. Obiano, who spoke through a special advisor on political matters, Chief Ifiatu Obikoye, said the governor could not factum sitting to discuss security with certain individuals who were behind the violence plaguing his states, describing his critics as noisemakers who were merely justifying the sponsorship of their benefactors, the governor said, Did you really expect my governor would be meeting and dining with some persons, ostensibly founding those, you know, and sponsoring, pardon, insecurity and terrorism in Anambra State. What people are saying goes to no issue in the first instance because it is of public knowledge that those doing the killings are not far from Anambra State and no Anambra person will go to this extent. Reacting, IPOP stated, we are the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP under the able leadership of our leader Mazina Dikano. We have always distanced ourselves from the senseless killings in Biafra land, especially in Anambra State and Imo State. But some gullible fellows do not want to believe us. Now we have been vindicated by the recent convention by Governor Willie Obiano of Anambra State on why he did not attend the meeting of the Southeast Governors in Enugu. The governor said without equivocations that he deliberately stayed away from the meeting because he didn't consider it proper to sit at the table and discuss security with those who are sponsoring the insecurity and killing in his state. Governor Obiano did not mince words when he said that the killings in Anambra were politically motivated. He accused his fellow governors and politicians of masterminding the killings in his state for political gains. Now, our question to all those still pointing accusing fingers at IPOB and Eastern Security Network ESN operatives for the killings in Anambra State is how many of the Southeast governors are IPOB members? Since, according to Governor Obiano, the killings have been sponsored by some person expected in the meeting for political reasons, how many of the attendees are IPOB members? Can the same people who find it hard to believe? Our explanation now believe us if we say that all Southeast governors except Obiano are members and sponsors for the obtained time. Let's restate that we have no hands in the senseless killings 
of innocent citizens in Biafra land, especially Imu and Anambra states. Politicians and traitors bent on implicating IPOP to impress their fallen slave masters are the one masterminding the genocides in collaboration with the wicked Nigerian security agents. What is your thought on this? What is your own reaction to this present situation? Who would like you to let us know your thoughts on this according to what we've heard? The indigenous people of Biafra has stated that the governor of Anambra state has given a statement that his fellow members, that is his fellow governors in the southeast region of Nigeria are the one fueling insecurity in the region and that alone has vindicated the group that is the IPOP group. Obiano has revealed on Thursday why he shunned the meeting of governors held in Enogo State. We would like you to share your thoughts with us via the comment section on this that has been said. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Chinanso Okaibu reacted to this and said, Can you people just imagine the kind of atrocities these men are committing on the name of plain politics? What is your thought about this? Look at the atrocities being committed by our leaders all in the name of plain politics. So many things are really wrong in this country and yet the government of Nigeria, our politicians are looking as if all is right in this country. They are looking at it as if all is well in this country of which is not well. All is not well in this country and we all know that. Can you imagine? All that is happening can you imagine the atrocities these men have committed all in the name of plain politics who would like you to share thoughts with us on this who would like you to let us know your thoughts on this plain situation people are saying that the politicians are conjunction with the dss the sss the police and the army and they have continued to kill innocent people in the southeast and now they are attacking ipop and the esn but God have kept on vindicating IPOP and ESN. Obiano's confession was a mandate from heaven. What is your thought about this? He said, according to Obiano in the news, that all the killings happening in the southeastern parts, especially in Anambra states, they are politically motivated and stop tagging IPOP as the unknown conmen because these people are not the one. They know nothing about it. After which the politicians of Nigeria might have you know, concluded all those killings using the DSS, the police, the army and even the state security service. They will not attack IPOB and the ESN. But as we can see, concerning the confession of Governor Obiano, it has vindicated IPOB and the Eastern Security Network. We would like you to share your thoughts with us on this present development. We would like you to let us know your thoughts on this present you know, situation. Don't forget that. Governor Obiano's confession 